hey guys welcome to this video so in this video guys i'm gonna be showing you guys my uh elite controller settings for the black ops 4 multiplayer somebody actually requested this uh so this is when i used to play on uh, this game the multiplayer this is the settings i had on my elite one although for this video i did customize it uh to a lot better um button layout in my opinion for the elite controller um two uh, I play on tactical, you play on default, the only thing, if you play on default, the only thing is the um, crouch, uh, crouch and prone will be on B, and if you play on tactical, it's going to be crouch and prone is going to be on the right stick. So, let me show you the settings here. So, what I did here, guys, on the Black Ops 4 is that I changed uh, to use the shift button or the shift uh, feature on the Elite Controller 2. Uh, to be on the paddle three what this means is guys i can hold this paddle here um and press uh and and press the paddle that has a y and it's gonna do what x does um so like what i mean is if i if i press the shift button it's gonna if i press this paddle right here where i have y as the primary it's gonna do x uh so that means if i press this paddle right here which is paddle three and i press paddle one it's gonna do x instead of instead of y and what that will do is reload your weapon or pick uh, if you hold it it will pick up the weapons on the ground just in case you want to swap your weapon for the opponent's weapon that you just killed um b i don't think you need to have something on b for uh for shift mode because i found out that b is basically melee or crouch but you could set it up uh, maybe um if you're pressing shift mode and you switch in between uh, kill streaks, they, I'm using LB and RB to switch between kill streaks. If you can see there, while holding shift mode, it's gonna do D pad up on RB. And if I'm holding uh, shift mode and I press LB, it's gonna do D pad down. What this is gonna do, guys, if we go back here, uh, back to the to the menu uh, of of Black Ops 4. If I press shift uh, the shift mode and I press RB, um, LB is gonna take me down to the UAV. Um, while still I'm still able to move, I'm still able to aim down sights. And look at this, holding RB or pressing RB and LB while still a aiming down sights, I'm able to switch between kill streaks. Uh, now I'm gonna do something here because if you're holding, sh um, if you're holding the shift button. Um, you won't be able to sell to launch the kill streak while holding the shift button. So, what you guys could do, if we go back here, uh, to the Xbox Elite um accessory app, so what you guys can do is that you guys can mark uh this one that where we have B. You guys can mark this one as the shift button to do Y as well. So what this book is gonna do is if you hold the shift button. I'm used to selecting between um, kill streaks, and you forget to let go at shift button. Uh, you could press the paddle two, and it's still gonna do Y. Although I don't think it's necessary, you could still have it on B um, because I feel it's too much buttons. You guys would have to remember um, something that I didn't map for the Elite controller uh, to have from Block Ups is the um, callout and the um, what's it called the emotes um if you want to have the emotes and callouts on the back on the paddles you could do some while you're holding shift button what i can what i mean you could set up uh this one to be i believe the emotes are are d-pad um right so you could set this to be a uh, d-pad right um right and you could set up this one to be d-pad left uh and i will show you what you guys um would do like this so if you guys can see we already set up okay so we go back uh to the game uh, right here call of duty's black ops 4 and we select the ship ship oh they're killing us okay i'll show you right now guys it's just i'm playing here against computers okay so you hold the ship button and then you press the paddle for um melee it's gonna bring out your emotes um and just select one and you will do it right so if you hold shift mode and then you press the um paddle for jumping it's gonna bring out your callouts 
and you could do them then you need help right so this is another thing if you like using those you could have those but i don't think they're necessary uh to be honest um if in for me i i don't think they're necessary on multiplayer are you really gonna be doing emotes uh you're just maybe setting up yourself to get killed maybe you want a ton of opponents but other than that i would just leave this on b uh, and b but if you want to map something to those you guys could do it uh but other than that i think having them just having this two on shift mode and this ones right here are fair uh, like enough you guys don't really need them uh to play this on multiplayer um like i said i'm just doing this for a subscriber of mine they have asked for this but that's all you need guys because if you guys look at this um let's go back uh, you guys won't need it um you are our lb is to healing uh to heal you lb plus rb is gonna do your special ability right um rb is gonna bring out your little helicopter here um i don't know whether it's even called burst to park um so yeah so the only thing i would be using right i have never used this before i get killed i got killed guys sorry i didn't play this game a lot when it came out uh so yeah like i said the only thing you need is having a paddle for jumping i think uh b for melee um like y to switch weapons right switch weapons sorry about that guy's not a best player here uh, this video is more for the elite controller settings than my skills on this game uh but like i said guys a lot of people do play still this game it's a very fun game i believe so uh it just just i don't know I, I didn't get into it it was probably pretty much because of um blackout uh i played that a lot more uh but yeah guys pretty pretty good uh, pretty good game uh like i said this for me these are the best settings i could come up with guys for this game because to be honest you don't need um other than that like like i said let's park ourselves um right here i don't think they'll kill us um if they kill us they kill us but right here guys like i said um we go here to the controller layout you sprinting always is gonna be good on the first stick um like i said the only good things that i found that we could map to the to using shift mode was the score streak selection which we did by pressing a uh, shift button and then using rb and lb to select those kill streaks right um and yeah guys a for jumping on a paddle b for melee on a paddle y for switching weapon and x if you want to reload now for me i'm going to tell you right now something they're passed by passing by me i, I swear i saw someone so we're going to shoot our weapon now i always have reload with x for me that's always has been a thing um so for me mapping x into a paddle is not really necessary the only re the only reason I map X to a paddle is for BR uh, games uh, because searching with a paddle I think is faster. But usually I reload with X, always pressing the X button on the controller. Um, something that I'm gonna actually show you as well to put on the controller is that I use on every every if you guys see here everyone except Apex. Uh, even on fifa pubg uh that's for fortnite save the world uh world war c um but every shooting shooting game um i haven't on this one but on the left stick um left stick and right stick i use instant curve on on number one right there so instant the reason I use instant curve is because apparently it reduces um the aim acceleration. If you guys don't know, every game has aim acceleration. So like this will make me like apparently have less aim acceleration. So your uh your memory it's gonna you know it's gonna be more used to that because it's always gonna do the same amount of movement, right? So it's hard to explain, but apparently it removes aim acceleration from controller. Uh, so I use it a lot on a lot of different games, and I do feel my aim 
uh, becomes better with the uh, with that setting. Why is he doing that? He always kills me with his with his um nuclear thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, that's the settings I use. Um, come on, there's like twenty guys on me here. Uh, so yeah, that's that's all I use here, guys. Like the you're never gonna kill four people in a row but like i said guys these are my elite controllers so i use shift mode and then if i press lb and rb i can switch between the kill streaks i want to use one let go a shift mode and press the paddle for y and we are hitting that one so i'm gonna mark those they killed us um we'll see if we could kill someone here fast come on now we were very low man this computer guys are very good guys sorry i haven't played this game in a long time so it's it's kind of new to me right now and i'm not even seeing the guy that killed it right here so right i killed that guy sweet oh my god they're not gonna let me do it i wanted to show you how to how i pick up uh pick up weapons with the paddles uh, so let's try and find someone that's by him. So where are you going? So we killed that guy here. He dropped his weapon uh, Switch to Y and press the shift button and hold uh, The paddle that is X and I pick up the weapon and be on my way Now if I want to launch the UAV without stopping I am look I'm gonna show you with moving everywhere so right now I'm moving and I'm still able to call my uav while moving because we have that paddle so uh to be honest guys this for me these are the best settings i could think for the elite 2 uh now if you don't want to use um if you don't guys don't want to use the uh the stick curve right here you guys don't have to just keep it on default but i always use it on all my my games because it helps against aim acceleration so like I said guys, if you guys don't want to use shift mode, just have just have um but I think it's very necessary because to use this in the bot on top for the shift mode to be able to select the the coast uh kill streaks very easy just by pressing RB and LB to go through them. Uh maybe you wanna just launch your helicopter and not your UAV first. So you could use this to um uh, cycle between them. So I think these are the best settings you could use guys for block us multiplayer if you have an elite controller um, The other settings is up to you guys is what you guys like um, you guys don't need to have this uh, You guys could have it on default to be honest, but I did um, read an article where it says the instant help with the aim acceleration on controllers um, that most games have on console so uh, these are my elite um con elite controller block ups for multiplayer um key binds you could say or mappings guys like i could i'm gonna go over them one more time so the only thing i have is one pedal to be the shift shift button with this is it's just like the shift button on your keyboard guys if you press the shift button on your keyboard and you press um five it's gonna do the percentage symbol it works the same on a controller you hold the shift button um, and you press the paddle that has a Y while you're holding shift button is going to do X. That little button that it's right there um, um, be, uh, on the bottom of Y. If I press the shift button and I press paddle 2, it's going to do um, B because I have it as 2. And I have it. But I could change this to any button here. Maybe... Uh, you want to record kills, you know, you maybe you want to record kills. You could go to actions and just put record that on that. And so now what you could do is holding shift button and you press the the paddle that has uh, that has um, the melee button, which is B for me. And you ha you're holding shift, but the shift button and you press B paddle is going to record that. So it's going to record what you did. Maybe this is a faster way for you to record. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of customizations, guys. But the ones that I, I would go is the ones I show you. Uh, right. So this is my melee, but uh, my meta, uh, melee um, 
paddle right here. So let's see if we could kill someone. Or they kill me with this mine, which I don't know what it is. Alright, so. Let's see if we can find someone. It would be six bots. Versus me, I don't know. Oh, okay, so I got killed by the dogs. Say I want to record that. Hold shift button and press B. It, it's now recording. Uh, let me show you how it got recorded, guys. Because it's going to be here on my recent recorded. Um, and just, you know, uh, let them load. It just says yes now. It got recorded. Uh, so, yeah, guys. A lot of things you guys could put on the controller. Uh, like I said. Now, I would just recommend the ones I, I told you. So, I would just put it here. Uh, to do the same action as B. Um, I think this is enough for me. Like for playing multiplayer. Being able to switch between your kill streaks with RB and LB. Uh, that I think that helps a lot to do it a lot faster than you, than taking your finger from your stick and going to the D-pad. And then having X to reload and pick up stuff on a paddle uh, while you're holding shift button it's it's great so like for me this is the best um black ops for uh controller uh, settings for the elite uh series 2 guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one adios